Hey, what's up guys? Joe again from Not So Slim Pick, and thanks for coming by the channel again today. I appreciate it. Uh, so I got home from work now. I had to run some errands after work. I had to pick up a few items that I won in an online auction. Uh, we're going to show you those later. Uh, so yeah, I only won two lots. I didn't go crazy with it. A lot of times these uh, auctions, they uh, run on a Sunday evening. I have to be at work really early in the morning on Monday. Uh, so I have to be up at like 3.30 in the morning. So I'm trying to be in bed by between 8 and 9 o'clock. And a lot of times those auctions are still going on around that time. I saw, I just saw two lots I was kind of interested in. I paid like $10 with everything. Uh, a little bit over that, taxes and everything. So uh, I'll show you those items. And uh, But first, let me show you what uh, I sold today. And uh, we're going to go over those. Um, and then I got a few video real quick of what I sold yesterday. Three items. And I got seven going out today. So... Let's pull some orders. Okay, so we are on Tuesday and we've got three items so far going out today. First items are these Tupperware trays. Uh, these were the things that I got online auction. They're pretty cool Tupperware trays. Uh, like for camping or picnics or just to use around the house, really. Paid $9 for them on an online auction. I sold them for $15.99 plus shipping. Next item is a GameCube game. I think it was this one here. Yeah. This one I got for, I think it was a dollar. Maybe it was 50 cents. I don't remember. I got it at a yard sale, though. Um, sold it for $5.99 plus shipping. And last item was this, this, this Coca-Cola racing ad. I got this on online auction uh, where I paid, uh, I think, $26, somewhere around there, for a whole bunch of Coca-Cola items. Uh, this hat sold for $10 plus shipping. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I've been kind of keeping track of the Coca-Cola auction haul that I had. So I spent $24.15. I split it up into 16 different lots. Uh, the racing hat that I just sold for $10. Uh, so we are at uh, $22, $23.50, something like that. Uh, so we are almost in the profit, basically, for all um, that Coca-Cola stuff. So next item I sell will be in the profit, and then uh, it'll be smooth sailing. Hey, so you're never going to guess what just happened. I just packed up all my stuff that I just videotaped that I sold, and I sold something else. It happened again. Two days in a row. This happens all the time. I swear eBay knows like I'm working on eBay, and then I sell more stuff. It's weird. So, but I sold this old vintage radio. Uh, pretty much for parts, repair, uh, gambled on it whenever I bought this plus an old video camera. I paid $15 for both of them So I'm into this for $7.50 uh, But I think it's just a really cool piece. I mean I the way I put on my listing was This you know sitting on a shelf, you know, I mean I cleaned it up a little bit. It could use a little more cleaning, but uh, I just think it's really cool looking so uh, Yeah, sold it to somebody on eBay for uh, $12 uh, So yeah, $12 plus shipping didn't make too much, but got my money back Okay, first item going out. I got this a while back, pretty much right when yard sale season started. Uh, it was this and this, and I still have one more right there. But these were Old Navy. Uh, this one was still in the package, but it came out of the package, but it still has the tags and everything, and this dress. Old Navy clothes. Let me get this tote back in. Yeah, I mean, Old Navy is not exactly, like, you know, high-end or anything. Uh, but still, I mean, these dresses and stuff, they sell pretty good. Um, took a little while to sell, a few months. But I think for three of those three items, I paid $7. So I'm in for these for a little over $2 a piece. Uh, both these items sold for $19.49 plus shipping. Next item was in that Coca-Cola lot. Uh, if you're following my videos... Bought a whole bunch of Coca-Cola items. Let's see how easy it's gonna be for me to find this item. Might have to put this down for a second. Hey, there it is, right there on top. How did I miss it? So I sold this uh, pack of uh, Coca-Cola Monsters of the Gridiron. 
1994 edition. I looked these up online. It's basically football players like Emmett Smith and whatnot dressed up as quote unquote monsters, like Halloween kind of stuff. That's the whole pack unopened. I sold this pack of cars for $8 plus shipping. Okay, so here we are on the Coca-Cola auction hall. Uh, I had 16 total lots uh, at $24.15. That's what I paid for everything. So the average total per lot is about $1.50. And here's what I sold so far. I just sold the monster cards for eight bucks. Uh, so that total so far, we're at $31.48. So I am in the profit uh, by a little over $7. So everything else is straight profit. All right, we're moving down one tote for the next item. It's right here. Oh, Oops, something, there we go. We sold this mouse. Today's mouse, uh, Windows, three times any, let's see, 95, yep. Three button serial mouse, uh, old mouse for the old IBM uh, compatible computers. I uh, got this at Goodwill. Uh, almost looked brand new, just open box basically. Paid a dollar for it, sold for $13.99 plus shipping. All right, now we're going up to double B. And I sold one of these e-readers that I got this past weekend already. I couldn't believe it, these e-readers. Never seen them before or heard from the company. Um, but it was this, this one in particular was Jetbook. I don't have the batteries in right now. I, don't, I can't turn it on for you. But it's like one of those e-readers. You can load a bunch of books and everything on it. It still had the SD card in it. it, it must There must be 100 books on here or so. Um, sold comps on it were around 20 to $30. Uh, but you know, with all those books and everything, I listed at $39.99 and it sold. So I paid $1 for this and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Okay. Going over here to Toki. And there it is. I sold this. Driven to give, it's a Lincoln brand, like the Lincoln Motor Company, Ford. Uh, it's a tea infuser. Uh, you can see the picture of it that I post here. Uh, but it was still new in a box. Uh, sold it for five bucks plus shipping. Oh, I should mention that uh, I didn't pay anything for it. Somebody gave it to me. So I paid for, um, I sold it for five bucks plus shipping. That was a gift. Well, I shouldn't necessarily say it was a gift. Somebody gave it to me. They were just trying to get rid of it. <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm just like, people are giving me stuff and I'm just like selling it. But the person that gave this to me, I'm sure they won't mind that I, I sold it for $5. Okay, the last items I sold here were these Gucci uh, perfumes, these old vintage perfumes. Picked these up at the yard sale for 50 cents a piece. Uh, somebody finally sent me an offer on them. I was probably asking too high, but vintage perfume, uh, especially discontinued brands, they sell pretty well on eBay. So be on the lookout for those at yard sales, but... These two particular ones sold for $30 plus shipping. Oh, also, don't forget, when you're selling liquids and stuff like this, um, you have to post on the package that it's for, you know, not for air flight. Uh, liquid like this cannot be shipped uh, on an airplane, basically. So, regulations with that, you have to post it on your package. Um, you know, not for air flight, little decal, whatever that I use. Uh, so, yeah, so it stays on the ground, basically, when it's shipped. But... Yeah, so still, not a bad deal. Paid a buck for both of those. Sold for $30 plus shipping. Okay, so here's what I got on my auction haul. Uh, first item, you know how I like these old vintage uh, radio alarm clocks? Definitely needs to be cleaned up. Uh, but good news, it works. It works great. Uh, I'm in my basement, that's why it sounds like that. But it sounds pretty good. Everything works on it, so that's awesome. So we'll move this out of the way here. Uh, for that, I paid $2 for that radio. Uh, a lot of times these old radios go between 20 to 30. These umbrellas, I paid $3 for these umbrellas. I thought I spent $10, I actually spent $5 and like 25 cents or something like that. So for four umbrellas, I paid $3. Uh, tip from one of my uh, guys that comes into my regular job, you know, who also sells a lot on eBay, he has like over, I don't know, 2,000 listings or something like that. It's crazy. He's been selling for a really long time. And he's really good at what he does. So 
he tipped me off that old umbrellas are doing really well. So I saw these on the auction uh, for the online auction. This is like a canvas, almost like a cloth material umbrella. And, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's got the cool little loopy handle here uh, and everything. This is like a camo one. It's got the cover, it's really big. Uh, these two are the Humane Society of the United States. This one's like a raining cats and dogs logo there. I opened them up, tested them, and they both work really good. But, uh, so yeah, I should be able to sell these umbrellas for pretty good money. Definitely more than uh, $3. Thanks for coming by the channel, guys. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.